Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets and I am Amanda. I am here today to do my week one budget recap for the month of November. November is here. That means that Thanksgiving is around the corner as well as Christmas. Speaking of Christmas, I have actually started putting up my Christmas decorations. I actually have my tree up as well as um, my decorations outside and on my over my fireplace. So here's a small peek of that here. So there is my tree, excuse my ring light, but there's my tree and let's go over here real quick to my fireplace. So yes, that is what I've been doing here. So yeah, that's, um, always fun to try and get that going. The reason why I do it so early is because before my mom passed away, we would be in competition with each other where we tried to see who could put their decorations up the, you know, the soonest or whatever, because what we would do is typically try to have them up at least a week or so before Thanksgiving. But then she started to beat me and she would go a two or three days before that week. And so we actually just got to the point where we started putting it up at the beginning of November. But yeah, that's just been a tradition that I have just kind of carried on. So it's beginning of November and I have pretty much gotten everything, you know, decorated. I just need to put away, you know, the little stragglers, vacuum up the pine cones and that kind of thing or um, the needles, pine needles. So that's where we are, but that's not what we're here for. We are here to do the week one budget projection video. As you can see, this information is in front of you. So let's dive right in because these videos do project what I plan to do with my entire paycheck for this week. So today is November the 5th, 2021, and it is a Friday. Therefore, I did get paid. So let's see how I plan on spending these dollars and cents this week. First, we have the mortgage. It's going to be an extra payment for twenty for two hundred and sixty eight dollars. I will come back and explain that. Next, we have the debt monies. This these are always extra monies that I can pull out of my paycheck to put toward whatever debt. I only have two debts left. That is the student loan and the mortgage. But I am now focusing on paying down the mortgage. So that money also the three hundred four will actually go toward the mortgage so these will be principal only payments next we have the water bill coming in at 98 dollars phone and internet service for 239 auto insurance for 73 dollars student loan for 100 dollars the college spending which is just monies i give my daughter every week she's away in college 25 dollars household expenses 194 dollars Children's savings, $28.50. My homeowners association fee, $6.70. And last but not least, the cushion amount of $26.15. So let's see if I can zoom out so you can see the entire sheet here. That is a whopping total this week of $1,362.35. Okay, so each week I leave $1,228 in my bills checking account. This week, the total amount is more than that. So we're going to have to subtract $1,362.35 minus the $1,228 equals $134.35. Therefore, that's money that I will need to pull out of the bill savings account right here on paper because that is not the last thing that I'm actually going to do with the money, but you'll see as we continue on. That's step number one. Step number two is to go back up through these expenses and put a PA, which means put away beside any um, expense that I will not be paying this week. Although I will allocate it out of this week's paycheck, I'm not paying it this week. So you see the items there. And that's the auto insurance, student loans, and the homeowners association. 
That's step two. Step three is to come back down um, on this line here and add all of those items together. So once we add those items together, that total put away amount is $179.70. Trying to not shake the camera. Let's see if I can move the desk a little bit. Yes, we're doing some moving around during the video. <laughs> okay, so now as you can see, these two items have blue clouds around them. That means they have a relationship. One amount I need to pull out of the bill savings account to help me satisfy that total um, of expenses for the week. However, there are some amounts that I need to put away because I won't be paying them this week. So we're going to have to subtract those two numbers. $179.70 minus the $134.35 equals $45.35, which is what I will need to put away in the bill savings account right here on paper. Remember your action is always going to take, your answer is always going to take the action of the larger of the two numbers. So this 179 is the amount that I needed to put away. Therefore your answer is the amount you would need to put away. All right, that's step three. Step four is to go back up through these expenses once again and put a purple triangle beside each item that I will be paying this week. That is what the purple triangle indicates. You see all of those items indicated there. So what I'm going to do is talk through this mortgage real quick. Since I made my regular monthly payment early, you can go back and look at my budget recap video to get um, an explanation on how I was able to do that. And um, so now that 268 is what I typically set aside to make the monthly payment. I don't make my monthly payment until week two of each month. So this would have been monies that I would have put away and used later to help me make the monthly payment. But since the, the monthly payment has been paid now, these two amounts can go toward principal only payments. So that's going to be a big chunk right there that I am going to be able to pay. So that's what's going on there. Now this water bill, let's look at it. I typically set aside $98 each, each month for water bill. However, this month it came in at $71. So we are going to have to subtra subtract the actual from the projected amount. The actual was $71. So the projected is $98. So let's subtract $98 minus $71 equals $27. So that $27 is an amount that I'm going to have to put back into the bill savings account because I don't need it. However, we're doing that right here on paper right now. This isn't going to be the actual um, transaction that I'm going to make. This is just until we get all the calculations done. All right. So the phone bill and the internet bill is 239. The actual amount is 219. I had been setting aside 230 or projecting 239 for the longest because I had an iPhone that I was paying off. So that has dropped off. Therefore, this amount has decreased by about $20. So if we subtract the project, the actual from the projected, we will get that $20 amount. So 239 minus 219 equals 20. That's another amount that I need to put back in the bill savings account right here on paper. That's why these items have yellow lines under them because they have a relationship with each other. So that's that. So now let's skip down to the next to the last line here that's on this sheet and it's going to show you all the numbers that have the yellow lines under them i'm going to have to either add or subtract them because they have actions that need to be taken i either need to put them away in the bill savings account because i don't need to use them or i need to pull them out of the bill savings account if there was a case that i needed you know to use them and in this case i do not so all three items, the $27, the $20, and the $45.35 all need to be put away in the bill savings account this week. So we get to add those three numbers together. So let's do that. $45.35 plus $27 plus $20 
equals $92.35. That number is the total amount that I will need to put away into the bill savings account this week. That's what BSA stands for, Bills Savings Account. That means I physically move that money from the checking account portions, which I call my operations account, to the the savings account portion of this account. It's just so you know ideal and convenient that a banking account has both a checking portion and a savings portion, and I can just move that money back and forth between the two whenever I need to pay bills, you know, or pay expenses. So that's been really cool. So as you can see, this number gets a full yellow box around it because this is actually what I'm going to do with the month money out of this week's pay. I will be putting away $92.35 in that bill savings account. Now, as you can see on the very last line, there will also be an extra mortgage principal payment made from the $850 gift that I was gifted. Remember I said, um, Previously that I used part of the, I paid the actual um, monthly payment early. So that's how I was able to pay it. So I paid that 803. So however, I rounded it up to 804. So if we subtract the regular payment from the 850, the 804 from the 850, we're left with $46. So this too would be another amount that I will be putting toward the principal of my mortgage this upcoming week. So you'll see all this in my budget recap, but it's just good to know that I will be able to put an extra 268, 304, and $46 toward my principal of the mortgage this week. So that's gonna take that balance down really, really good. So that's really all I have for this video for today, ladies and gentlemen. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel, like this video, send this information along to someone who is looking to start budgeting their money. They need a budget technique, something that's pretty simple. I like colors. I like to coordinate my numbers so that I can show that they have a relationship with each other. It just helps, you know, the process be fun for me. So that is kind of why I do it in this format. But most importantly, I write these numbers down so that I can see every single week what I am doing with my monies and how I plan to um, allocate the funds. So this is all I have for this video, guys. This is Dr. Mommy Budgets, where we dream big but start small around here. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.